Hello guys, it is Kurt Skull back on your screen and today's video what we're going to be doing is giving you guys an OBS 2019 tutorial for the best settings for uh, high definition so, uh, display and you guys can uh, easily improve the video quality of your videos. So first let's just get right into it. Uh, up here in the left corner, hit file, go to settings just like that. Uh, general we don't want to mess with that but if you guys, they automatically settings, uh, my, your guys is like theme might look different but i just put mine on dark because this is what i prefer uh stream we're not doing this on this video we're just going over recording so once you guys get to the output tab you guys want to go to recording now you guys should be on uh looking your, your guys' screen should be looking something like this now the type of this should be standard the recording pad now this does not really matter this is where you guys want your your videos your recordings uh to be saved so you guys could just make a new folder like this a new folder and you guys can name this like recordings um record this you guys could just name it recordings and boom this can be where you guys store your recordings just like that so uh wherever you guys record everything will be saved in here uh but I'm, i already have a folder for this uh called vids uh that's where my stuff got saved um, now, uh, uncheck this box if you already have it checked. Recording format, MP4 is the way to go. Trust me, this is what you guys would prefer. Audio track, keep that at one. The encoder, this, um, now I have an NVIDIA graphics card because I have a gaming computer, I have an Alienware. Um, if you guys have NVIDIA graphics cards, you guys should have these two options. And if you do, go for this one for sure. It's by NVIDIA, it's pretty new. Uh, it's very good. Uh, so you guys should definitely stick with that. But if you guys don't have a gaming computer, uh, you guys should probably stick with uh, X264 um, bits, which is uh, very good. Uh, that's still that's the that's. But however, if you have a weaker machine, this is what you got to do. You got to go put it um, 264 like that. But since I have an NVIDIA graphics card on my computer, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this. Uh, custom mixer settings. Skip that. Rate control. Use VBR. CBR should be the uh, will actually will be the default uh, change that to VBR is way better bit rate um, for try 40,000 uh, kbps and max bit rate 60,000 that should be good the K from interval should be two preset put max quality since that's what we're trying to receive max quality for your for your video but um, you could put this to quality too depending on your computer uh, if you guys have a weaker machine you know you should probably just go for quality because that's that's what's uh, suitable for your machine. Profile, always keep that high no matter what. Uh, look ahead and cycle, um, and cycle visual tuning on for both of these checks. Uh, both of these checked. Uh, GPU zero and max B frames two. Now, uh, you guys want to hit apply. Okay, and then don't hit okay. Uh, just go straight on to the audio. Sample rate forty eight hertz. It should be. It should. Um, just keep it at that. Channels a stereo. Now, desktop audio, this is, um, if you guys are using a headset, which you probably are, or earbuds or something, this device pretty much is uh, just, there'll, there'll be a drop down menu, choose that device. Now, I'm just using my HyperX headset. This is what I'm, uh, I can hear my videos through uh, on YouTube and stuff, so this is, um, this is my desktop audio. Now, you guys, most of you really won't, basically all of you won't have a second audio device, so just leave that as disabled. Uh, if you're mic, you guys want to make sure uh, what mic you're using. So if you guys have a headset mic, um, let's just say you have a headset mic, uh, there should be like uh, there should be like a headset microphone. Yeah, I don't, I have one, but for my headset, but I don't use it. I actually have a, a Blue Yeti Nano, so I, I check that microphone. Uh, you won't really have four devices, so disable the rest. These three. Uh, the meters, um, you get very fast, and then the peak meter type, keep it a sample peak. Uh, monitoring device uh, this is basically you just select your monitor and if you guys have more than one monitor then just select the one that you want to be recorded obviously uh, hotkeys this does not really matter this is all uh, up to you now hit apply again make sure video settings now uh, this depends on your monitor basically all of you guys should have uh, 1920 times 1080 uh, and your output so this is basically your monitor resolution 
uh, mine's also nine, mine in 1920 uh, by 1080. This is like basically everyone's monitor size, unless you have like a god scale like 20 uh, 2560 monitor, but most of you guys do not have that. But if you do, basically, is you how you know is if you click uh, there's a drop down menu right here. Click it. The first one that you see is your monitor. It should be your monitor uh, resolution. Now this is uh, the output is like what you want the recording uh, resolution to be. Now since uh, I have a, power, a power, powerful machine, uh, I want it to be 1080 quality, 1080p quality. So uh, there's a drop down menu, and you so I just go all the way up and select uh, a 1920 by times 1080. Uh, this will so that means uh, basically when my monitor records, it'll, it'll record just like that, and I'll and I'll save it just like that. Now, if you guys have a weaker machine, you know, you want 720p, uh, you guys can go hit this, and you guys will have 720p quality. That's for the people who have weaker machines. Downscale filter, uh, keep it as Lenso's. Uh, sharper scale and 32 samples, this is the best. And common, common FPS values, I recommend having this at 60, unless you have a very weak machine. Uh, maybe have it at 30, but I really do recommend 60 uh, to peak the performance. Now, uh, hotkeys, these are all preference. You guys should have this whatever you want, like start streaming. I'm not, we're not going into that, that we're recording. So like for me, example, you just, uh, you you left click and you can change your key binds, uh, or not even your key binds, your hotkeys, I mean. Uh, so mine for start recording is up, like the arrow key that goes up, and then the down, down arrow key to stop it. You guys can mess around with this, whatever you want. You know, you can mute your mic, unmute, push to talk, whatever, whatever you guys prefer, but I don't really use that stuff. Now to go to advanced tab, what you guys want to do is general, uh, process priority, normal, video, render, uh, direct, uh, 31, 11, this should all be the same, but make sure, uh, you guys actually, the color, the color format. Uh, make this NV12 and the color space should be 709 the color range is full make sure to have those settings So because sometimes like OBS glitches and you get like extra sounds and stuff that you do not want in the recordings So make sure you do change these uh, Recording file name formatting I don't even know that's fine. Just keep it whatever that's at uh, Replay suffix doesn't matter. Keep that empty uh, and that's pretty much it guys uh, make sure you know just have these checked enable for the automatically reconnect uh, retry delay 10 seconds yeah maximum retry is 20 uh, sources check this enable browser hardware acceleration and uh, bind to IPU default and that should actually should wrap up the video guys hope you guys enjoyed new youtubers out there trying to get good quality I understand I uh, hope this video helped you out make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed